The objective of an assist or rescue at or near the surface of the water is to quickly create and maintain effective support for the victim while moving the person to safety. An assist enables you to quickly and safely help a victim who is struggling in shallow water or within reach from the water's edge. The common assists include the reaching assist from the deck and the simple assist. A reaching assist can be fast and effective and is used when the victim is near the side and is able to grasp the rescue tube. Remove the rescue tube strap from your shoulder. Brace yourself on the deck. Keep your body weight on your back foot and crouch to avoid being pulled into the water. Holding the shoulder strap in one hand, extend the tube to the victim with the other hand and tell them to grab it. Slowly pull the victim to safety. Remember to communicate with the victim throughout the assist. The simple assist is commonly used to help a victim in shallow water regain their balance. To perform a simple assist, keep your rescue tube, if you are using one, between yourself and the victim as you approach. Reach across the tube, if you're using one, and grasp the victim at the armpit to help them regain balance. If needed, help them to safety. You can also approach a victim in need of a simple assist from behind. Again, grasp the victim under the armpits and help them regain their balance. In water depths of less than three feet, a rescue tube may not be needed. Simply approach the person and help them regain balance by grasping them under the armpits. When rescuing an active victim who is close to the surface of the water, your objective is to support the victim as quickly as possible with the rescue tube before they submerge. Once supported by the tube, you can then move them to safety. Use the active victim front rescue when the victim is facing you. To perform this rescue, approach the victim from the front. Just before reaching the victim, push the rescue tube out in front of you with both hands, kicking to maintain momentum until you reach the victim. Use both hands to thrust the rescue tube partially underwater and into the victim's chest, giving them support. Tell the victim to lean forward on the tube. Fully extend your arms and lock your elbows, then kick to move the victim through the water. Continue to reassure the victim as you move them to a safe exit point. Alternatively, use the active victim rear rescue when the victim is facing away from you. To perform the active victim rear rescue, approach the victim from behind with a rescue tube across your chest and under your arms. With both arms over the tube, reach under the victim's armpits and grasp their shoulders firmly. Squeeze the rescue tube between your chest and the victim's back, then lean back, keeping your head to the side to avoid being hit by the victim's head. Pull the victim up onto the rescue tube, ensuring that the victim is supported so that their mouth and nose are out of the water. Tell the victim that you're there to help and continue to reassure them as you tow them to a safe exit point. Multiple lifeguards should respond whenever there is more than one victim. However, if you are the first lifeguard to arrive at two victims, Provide initial support using a technique that is similar to the active victim rear rescue. Approach one victim from behind. With both arms, reach under the victim's armpits and grasp their shoulders. Squeeze the rescue tube between your chest and the victim's back, keeping your head to one side of the victim's head. Use the rescue tube to support both victims with their mouths and noses out of the water. Talk to the victims to help reassure them. Support both victims until other lifeguards arrive or the victims become calm enough to assist with moving to a safe exit point. If more than one lifeguard responds, the second lifeguard supports the second victim with their tube. Work together to convince the victims to separate, then move them both to safety.
Sometimes, a drowning victim can be at or near the surface of the water, but face down and unresponsive. Unless you suspect a head, neck, or spinal injury, use a passive victim rescue to turn the victim face up. When approaching a face-down victim from the front, use the passive victim front rescue. Approach the victim from the front with the rescue tube across your chest. As you near the victim, reach one arm out towards the victim's opposite arm and grab the victim's forearm just above the wrist while grabbing the rescue tube with your other hand. Grasp the victim's opposite wrist and forearm with your palm facing up on the underside of the victim's arm. Pull and twist the victim's arm towards your opposite shoulder to turn the victim over on their back. As you pull and twist, thrust the rescue tube under the victim's back as they turn over. Place the tube under the victim, below the shoulders, so that the victim's head naturally falls back to an open airway position. Keep the victim's nose and mouth out of the water. Reach one arm over the victim's shoulder and grasp the rescue tube. Then use the other hand to stroke towards an exit point. Extricate the victim from the water, assess their condition, and provide appropriate care. When approaching a face-down victim from behind, use the passive victim rear rescue. Approach the victim from behind with the rescue tube across your chest. With both arms, reach under the victim's armpits and grasp the shoulders firmly. You may be high on the victim's back when doing this. Using your chest, squeeze the rescue tube between your chest and the victim's back. Keep your head to one side to avoid being hit by the victim's head if it moves backwards. Roll the victim over by dipping your shoulder and rolling onto your back so that the victim is face up on top of the rescue tube. Place the tube under the victim below the shoulders so that the victim's head naturally falls back to an open airway position. Keep the victim's nose and mouth out of the water. Reach one arm over the victim's shoulder and grasp the rescue tube. Use your other hand to stroke towards an exit point. Extricate the victim from the water, assess their condition, and provide appropriate care. If a victim is passive and face up near the surface in three feet of water or less, quickly walk or swim to the victim's side. If you are using a rescue tube, let go of it, but keep the strap around your shoulder. Grasp the victim's arms midway between the elbows and shoulders and move them up alongside their head. Grab the rescue tube if you are using one and position it under the victim's shoulders. The victim's head should naturally fall back into an open airway position. For a victim who is passive and face down near the surface in three feet of water or less, approach from the side. If you are using a rescue tube, let go of it, but keep the strap around your shoulder. Grasp the victim's arms midway between the elbows and the shoulders and move them up alongside his head. Glide the victim forward and roll the victim face up by pushing the victim's arm that is closest to you under the water while pulling the victim's other arm across the surface towards you. If you are using a rescue tube, position it under the victim's shoulders so that the victim's head falls back into an open airway position. In extremely shallow water, the water may be too shallow to glide the victim forward without causing injury. If this is the case, roll the victim to a face-up position by simultaneously lifting and rolling the victim over. As with all passive victim rescues, complete the water rescue by moving the victim to a safe exit point